morning. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Woodmiser AccuSet set works. Uh, what that does is, is uh, adjust the level of the blade above the saw head and therefore control the uh, height of the or thickness of the lumber or materials produced on the sawmill. The most conspicuous part of the system you'll see is this top uh, section here that uh, controls the user interface or keyboard and uh, display screen area and I'll go through all these in, uh, in turn and explain it to you. There's two major versions of this. The earlier version is just the AccuSet and it uh, looks identical to this and has many of the same functions but the uh, Woodmiser remodeled the whole uh, system came out with the AccuSet 2 and it uh, has a lot more advanced features and a lot uh, more reliable and quicker to uh, boot up and, and to uh, load into easier program. The quickest way to, to uh, recognize if you've got an AccuSet or an AccuSet 2 version is that it will have a 2 here on the AccuSet 2 in the name. And uh, the reason that's kind of important if you're looking at a used mill and you don't know if it's got uh, AccuSet or AccuSet 2 is that, as I understand it, Woodmiser is not carrying major components for the old AccuSet. So if you have a major component go out, you, uh, you have a, a progression path to upgrade to AccuSet 2 and that's a little more expensive than, than just to repair one. And so, uh, you know, if you're looking at a bill with AccuSet, it's working fine. You could be uh, all right for years, but eventually if a, if a major component goes out, there's no uh, no real replacement for it. So, uh, if it, you know, if you got the AccuSet 2, you got the current edition, and uh, you should be fine for years to come. I'll show you a few pieces that go along with the active set here in a minute. Inside this control box is a uh, program control module that uh, sole function is to uh, make this motor, tell this motor to go up or down, uh, forward or reverse I guess you would say, to raise the head or lower the head. Well, the uh, uh, control module knows where to stop the motor from forward and reverse is by this transducer. This is, uh, if I can reach out and touch it here, that's the coil unit on it and uh, it's connected to this long bar that goes the height of the mask on the uh, sawmill head and there's a halo here which I assume is like a magnet coil around this that uh, it reads distance from here to the bottom and uh, transmits that back to the control unit and that's how it knows where it's at. There's a cable connection at the bottom of this uh, transducer. You can kind of see the cable coming in there and uh, that needs to be kind of watched to make sure it's tight. If you have trouble with your AccuSet and it won't uh, soon know where it's at, where it's going, often it's the connection there to that transducer will get vibrated Seems like once it gets tight enough and good connection, it stays forever. There's a shield over top of this that uh, kind of protects it. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty dumb item, but uh, it is pretty expensive, so you need to kind of watch the uh, cable that don't get cut or, or smashed or anything. The other end of the cable goes into the back of the hacky set system here. Again, I ran it down and try to get it behind things so it uh, uh, won't get damaged. I'll try to go through some of the buttons and functions and kind of show you how it's uh, programmed this this uh, thing, how to get it to do your work, how it works. Uh, first of all, I'll just turn it on to accessory. Uh, we won't be doing any sawing because the noise may be so uh, loud sawing that uh, we won't be able to hear. Uh, one thing, big advantage over the AccuSet to the AccuSet 2 has over the AccuSet is that it boots up much faster, has a much brighter display and bigger display of the numbers here and, uh, the, and also it's about 30 degrees out here and uh, this unit is set outside its whole life and uh, the old AccuSet would not have booted up nearly as fast this display would not have, have uh, come up nearly as fast as what this 
uh, new AccuSet 2 model is. And again, it's been out for three or four years, so uh, many of them you encounter is going to be come from the factory with AccuSet 2 or uh, has been already upgraded to the AccuSet 2. Uh, again, what this unit does is, is measure the distance between the blade and the uh, bed of the mill and the up-down lever as it changes this dimension here changes and you easily read that that is the uh, most basic mode that's not really doing anything for you other than giving you an exact readout to a 32nd of an inch of where the saw blade is to the bed uh, but if you go to some of the other functions for example this says auto down, I don't know if you can read that on the video but this button here will put it in auto down mode and right now it says it'll go down one half inch so if I hit the down button it goes down one half inch plus the saw kerf the saw kerf is the wood that's taken out by the blade as it saws I'll talk a little bit more about that also if I want to go up a half an inch this is the auto up pattern button hit the button and it will come up until it gets exactly to where it wants to be and stop. Uh, again, you can go back. This one is the manual button. Sorry for the shadows. Manual button. It says so on the display. And push that button. And again, you're just free to move the head up and down anywhere you want to go. Uh, this button is what I call the go-to button. It's been used on. Uh, uh, other functions on the old Aggie set, but this also now says reference 12 inches. And what this allows you to do if you're sawed all the way to the bed making lumber and now you want to roll the next log on rather than stand here and hit the hold the lever up to elevate the blade to 12 inches, you go to this particular set, put the button and now hands free, it'll go to 12 inches and stop. Uh, it'll also go down to that location as well. So basically, it's called in the manual, it's called a reference, but uh, location, but I just call it a go to because that's what I know to call it. Uh, the, we talked a bit about uh, auto down. Again, half inch. Uh, these four buttons here uh, hold your programs, and each one of them has four different positions under it. So this is uh, set down one. If I push the button again, it'll go to set down five, which I have programmed for an inch. And push it again, goes to nine, and that one's we got set at three quarters and thirteen at. at one quarter. So if you're trying to make a little adjustment cut or something, you can go to auto down or auto up and uh, page through till you get to the right one. Each of these has some uh, program value. This set down we just have set as an inch and eighth, which is the thickness we saw our, our uh, flooring number two. And again, you can page through and uh, it has uh, various settings on it, and, and again, uh, button three uh, set happens to be set at three inches. And if you push it again, set at five eighths, and uh, there set at four. Again, there's button four set at one and a half. Any of these can be reprogrammed to whatever you want the value to be. There's one five eighths, for example and so on and so forth. Set 12. Uh, let's say I want to make a set of uh, 7 eighths. How do I do that? Well I'm on set down 12 and so I push that button and then I can scroll down through until the number gets to be seven eighths. And it does a 30 second at increment. If you hold it down the button, uh, it'll move much faster. It's 
seven eighths. Okay, I've got it set at seven eighths. I want to save it, so I go to manual mode. I push this button, and this goes to uh, a programming save uh, configuration and several other functions. Again, manual, and this button brings it to this configuration menu. Push save. Say save settings. And now, if I go to the auto down button, it should be set at seven eighths. So if I come back to one of these other buttons, push that back to this one that's on page 3 to 12 it's set it 7 eighths down so it'll move that much plus the curve setting now all the auto downs and auto ups are the same uh, once you get the 16 different combinations set the way you want the 16 will go up or go down the, the, the same amount and you reprogram on the fly anytime you want uh, talk a minute about the uh, setup menu. Configuration menu one. It's it's got a couple of different. These buttons now do different things. It's a save, calibrate head, set curve, and other. Uh, the calibrate head comes up, and it should say 12 inches, but just a little bit of rounding error. It says 11 31 30 seconds. 12 inches exactly. So it's set at 12. Push that, and that's what should calibrate that head to be 12 inches above the bed. You really need to measure it, and then saw and verify with the cant. And if you find up your cant's a little bit uh, uh, shorter dimension, you need to uh, bump this dimension up just a little bit and reset it at 12. If it's a little bit taller than you need to be, you need to bump it down just a smidgen, and, and uh, finally you'll zero it in right at 12 inches. Uh, I'm going to be hitting the exit because it should have been fine the way it was. Uh, the pattern mode is probably the most confusing of the whole system, but the most powerful part of it. Uh, it may have to zero in a little bit later on on this column of numbers. It says one and an eighth all the way down to six and an eighth. If I, that's to bed one. That's the first setting. If I, under this. Uh, button I have programmed one eighth down to uh, eight and eighth. This is a dimension we saw our house camps to uh, for one particular customer. Uh, let's say I want to saw railroad ties and I want to uh, program this to saw a seven by nine. May make it a little bit plump and let's say seven and eighth by nine and eighth is where we saw them. And maybe I want to make a one inch board out of each. Uh, the outside lumber instead of one eighth for just for grins. I'm going to go back to one here. I put on program button one, program one, and so I'm going to push this button, and then this top bar will reverse image. And I take these buttons and I adjust the dimension down to one inch. And I push this button. And it'll convert every every drop. This is how far the how thick each board will be, down uh, one inch all the way to the base, and then I'll go all the way to the bottom, and then I'll run this up. Probably can't see it, but these numbers are running up. Uh, Going to be end up at seven and eighth. Okay. So now I can go back to manual. And uh, push this button to save, save, uh, and save again. Have to do that twice. So now, if I go to pattern mode and pattern one, I've got one inch cuts down to seven and an eighth. Now I'll do it again for uh, uh, pattern two. Again, it was one and an eighth down to eight and an eighth. So I'm gonna push this button, and this top one will. Reverse image, run it down to one inch. That'll convert them all to one inch. Run this one up to, again, I'm going to go to manual mode. I've got one inch down to nine and one eighth inch. Go to manual mode. And uh, again, push this button. And then save will come up in the configuration menu. Push that. And you have to save it twice. Kind of a confirmation. So now in the course of my day, I'm going to come out here with a little log on the mill, 
and uh, I'm going to adjust up and down to make my first cut. Uh, take that slab off and if I want to I can do it an auto down to uh, cut the next board so I'll go auto down and let's say I make them one inch thick. So I'll go there to my auto down set for one inch. I'll drop the head make the next cut. I'll turn the cant, go back to manual mode, find where I want to make the uh, uh, first cut, the opening face saw it again auto down and I'll save the it be at the same one I don't have to page through to find it that I last used and again cut the auto cut that board off then I'll rotate the log and uh, position the head again let's say I want that that uh, direction of the of the log to be the seven inch way so I go to pattern mode and right now it's on pattern on set to bed 2 which is 9 and an 8th so I go to this set and now I'm 1 inch all the way down so I, I position the head to where I take the first cut off and I can take as many as I want to off of that side usually I try to center it so I'll probably have to go back around to the other side and cut but I'll take the slab and a board or two and I'll turn to the fourth face that's uh, still got the barky side and now that one has to be the 9 inch so I'll go to that pattern and take the uh, the slab off wherever is appropriate let's say now it's well below well I've got a couple boards above it what do I do well I'll go back up raise the head let's say about there is where it need to be I go to manual mode and back to pattern mode and reset and it'll drop down to the next one okay now I'll find where I need to make my my uh, cut to cut the uh, uh, the slab off and next board, next board and on down until it gets to 9 and 8 and then you've got again if you go back to the set 1 I may have to turn the cant now and finish up that one so you'll go to the next cut and then the next cut I may have to flip the cant again then I'll have a, a 7 and 8 but 9 and 8 can't and all the one inch boards off from it. Uh, there's some variations to all this but uh, that's uh, basically how you program it and how it works. Now uh, next log is coming up so I'll punch that back to reference mode go back to 12 inches load my, load my next log and goes on and on forever like that. Also on the AccuSet 2 the, you won't be able to hear it or feel it, but these, maybe you can catch it, have a definite click sound to them. The old ones didn't, so you didn't really know if for sure if you're heads up sawing and you get to where, like you're driving a car or something, where you're so used to where everything's at, you just push something and know it was there. Well, sometimes you know, if it's cold and sometimes your fingers are gloved and sometimes and sometimes you wouldn't always get a good uh, uh, change of, of uh, the whatever command you wanted to do. There was no feedback. It was just like pushing there. So the AccuSet 2 actually has, uh, even though it's a uh, chiclet keyboard, has, uh, has got a definite click to all this. Now, we'll go back to manual here a little bit and back to this command uh, configuration menu. There is a uh, one, this one says set curve. And what it does is, is, is input the value of the, 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 the uh, saw cut. If we're running 045 blades and have uh, uh, 24 to 25,000 set in them, so totally it takes out about a tenth of an inch. It may be just slightly less. So we program in here one tenth of an inch and uh, that is what the, the AccuSet uses to calculate uh, the total drop it needs to make to make the board exactly one inch or one eighth or whatever it needs to be. If you change blades to like an 055 and uh, more set or a thinner blade then you need to adjust this. Uh, and in some cases we take this down to zero because we saw some blocking for some customers 
where we just saw at full dimension of uh, three by four and so on and so forth. And actually we cheat them by about a half a saw curve, which is less than a sixteenth of an inch. And again, you can adjust this up and down with these buttons and save it. And uh, most of this stuff you'll never need to go to unless you're instructed to by Woodmiser.